the Supreme Court has dismissed a suit filed by the People's Democratic Party challenging the eligibility of the president-elect Bolati Numbu to contest the presidential election that was held on the 25th of February. The PDP argued that the manner the APC and Bolati Numbu nominated Kashim Shatima as a vice presidential candidate for the election was in gross breach of the provisions of the Electoral Act. The Supreme Court held that a plaintiff must show harm or substantial harm done to him by the action he is complaining about. It also ruled that no political party can challenge the nomination of the candidates of another political party and the matter being a pre-election matter has a time limit. The court described the suit was a waste of the court's time and awarded a cost of two million naira against the plaintiff in favour of the respondents. So you heard it there about the decision of the Supreme Court on um, um, Bola Metunubu Shetima qualification for the office of president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Um, the new space was filled with the judgment, the anticipated judgment of the Apex Court of Nigeria. A lot of people said that Bola Metunubu was going to be disqualified because of um, his deputy, Shetima. A lot of other people said he is not going to be disqualified. And so today I discuss in brief the judgment of the Supreme Court on the subject. Now, the first question here is what was the nature of the case against them? What was it? Now, here is the answer. The case was taken up by PDP. It went to the Federal High Court. The Federal High Court dismissed the case. It went to the Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal also dismissed the case. And the PDP, which is then one of the major political parties in Nigeria, then proceeded to the Supreme Court for final determination of the matter. And what was their argument? Their argument was that Shetima, um, the vice president of Nigeria, um, is guilty of double nomination. And what they meant was that Shetima had already won nomination for the office of, um, uh, I mean, to represent a senatorial district in Borno State, where Shetima is from. And so PDP said that upon being nominated by Bola Ahmed Tonubu, Shetima was guilty of double nomination. And by the, by the Electoral Act 2022, which was signed into law by President Muhammad Buhari, double nomination is a ground for disqualification of a candidate. And that's what PDP went to court to argue, and argued very clearly that upon this nomination, first for the office of um, senator representing his senatorial district, and then subsequent nomination by Bola Ahmed Tunubu um, uh, to the effect that Shetima should be his um, a running mate. It therefore meant that Shetima was guilty of double nomination. But the Supreme Court dismissed this argument and stated clearly that Shetima was not guilty of double nomination. In the judgment delivered by, in particular, the judgment as written by uh, Justice Amina Auge, the Justice of the Supreme Court has clearly distinguished um, the issue of double nomination to the extent that double nomination does not apply in Shetima's case. Why? Because Shetima was nominated by his political party for the office of um, senator representing his senatorial district. And he, the nomination arose from the conduct of primaries. The second nomination, in quote, the second nomination, in quote, by Bola Ahmed Tunubu did not emanate from the conduct of any primaries. It was Bola Ahmed Tunubu exercising the powers given to him by law to pick a candidate of his choice. And that's what he did. And that does not qualify for double nomination. Now, my Lord Justice Alge also um, made a distinction between Shetima's case and that of Uche Ngosu. Remember Uche Ngosu, the Ugumba, uh, Uche Ngosu, the uh, son-in-law of um, the former governor of Imo State, um, Rocha Sokoracha. Remember that Ugumba was disqualified by the Supreme Court on ground of double nomination. But that one is clear, was clear in the sense that Ogumba had first been nominated as the candidate of the APC in Imo State for the governorship election. And 
when he was denied the ticket, he went to another party, I think Action Alliance, and also stood um, uh, for the primaries and was nominated by Action Alliance also. So the Supreme Court said that he is guilty of double nomination and therefore disqualified him. But in this case, the Supreme Court clearly said that that case of Ugumba is distinguishable from that of Shetima, who did not move from one political party to another and who did not also stand nomination from primaries in two political parties. So to that extent, the case of the PDP was um, dismissed. The Supreme Court also fundamentally dismissed the case of the PDP on ground of local standing and said that PDP had no local standing to complain about what happened in the APC. Uh, for this reason, the court uh, said that um, the trial court, that is the Federal High Court, lacked jurisdiction to have even entertained the matter, that the only jurisdiction it had would have been to strike out um, the matter at the um, trial court. So it clearly means that uh, the boundaries have been clearly defined, that PDP cannot complain about the primaries or about the internal activities of the APC. APC can also not complain about the internal activities of um, the PDP. Now, what's the um, implication of this judgment? The implication of this judgment first is that it has laid down a precedent uh, for subsequent decisions on similar subjects. Um, uh, the lower courts will now follow this uh, decision in case anybody takes the same matter to the court for determination. It also means that it has brought to a conclusive end all pre-election matters against the candidacy of Bola Metunubu and Alaji Kazim Shetima. It therefore means that um, uh, nothing is hanging um, against them any, any, any further pre-election wise in any court of law um, in Nigeria. Thanks for watching this episode of You and the Law. Do remember to subscribe to the channel so that from time to time you can receive notifications on every new video so that together we can continue to learn the basic issues of law in the breaking news.